the thing about when it comes to views and stuff is like I, I, I like I said, I'm not above doing things for views because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm on this platform on YouTube. Of course, I want people to watch my content, right? You put stuff out there because you enjoy it and you want as many people to see it as possible. So I'm not even gonna try and act like I don't want views. Of course, I want views, but when it comes to like what you do to get views, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of that comes down to things like. You know what are you okay with doing and what are you not okay with doing and like if people want to do haunt go visit haunted houses that's their business and you know I'm, I'm not looking to do that but if that's what people want to do cool um but yeah i mean i think there's definitely things that you can do that are very likely to get you a lot of views you know things that have been somewhat proven to in vast majority of cases bring in far more views than you would typically get on your videos and if you do those things a lot then you're likely to build up an audience of people who like to see that and do that thing and that's great because it's like okay cool there's you could always you always know that there's certain things you can do the problem though is that it becomes very disingenuous very quickly um you know what i mean like when you get to that point where it's like it's just not fun anymore and it, it's like you don't really you yourself like the, the the content creator doesn't really want to be doing it anymore but because you've built that audience and you've created that expectation of yourself as you're the guy that does this thing you know you become or you start to feel like you you have to do it like you have no choice you know i've, I've seen a few channels where the people would speak as if they have no control over their own content you know like they say they would say things like um would you want to see or and don't get me wrong it's not from asking people what they want to see of course not um that's that's not a bad thing but if you get into a point where you're so afraid of putting something out there that is your own idea i feel like that's a problem you know and i i don't want to live like that you know what i mean i don't want to live like that so it's not that i'm above doing things for views or whatever because I'm, I'm not i'm i'm a attention whore as, as anybody on this platform is an attention whore but i also feel like there's certain avenues i don't want to go down because they at least for me and I'm, I'm speaking for myself of course i'm this might not apply to anybody else but at least for me i feel like those are pitfalls because they can put me in a position where I'll end up doing something that either a I don't particularly want to be doing, or uh, or something that I, you know, don't necessarily, not necessarily hate, but you know, you might like it, but you're just doing it in a way that you don't necessarily want to be doing it. You, you know, either something that you don't want to do, or you're doing it in a way that you don't want to be doing it. But in in any case, you you feel like you, I feel like you get to a point where you created this expectation of yourself and now wait are you so afraid to put out anything because it just won't get those same views anymore you got in so used to getting to the hundreds of thousands of views hundred thousand views two hundred thousand views a million views all that kind of stuff again so used to that the idea of putting out something that only gets 20 views 10 views is just abhorrent to you at this point you know that's abhorrent at this point like 20 views i can't, I can't do that I can't, I can't, this is not enough you know I, I, and i don't want to be like that i, I don't want to get to that point i, I don't want to be in that position where you're so afraid to put out something just because it doesn't get many views. You know, I'd, I'd always want to be able to feel like I can put stuff out there, and especially on this channel, as Hayes Day's channel, where the, the main reason I started it is to be expressive, is to have a place where I can just be expressive in the moment and not worry about this, that, and the third, and this type of content, and, and, and it's just whatever. You know, I have other channels where I'm, where the con where the content is more consistent, but this channel from the beginning is always supposed to be just about me express myself. So things like live streams fit into that, reactions kind of fit into that. Um, but I just don't want to be like this is the thing that I do, and I only ever do this thing, and then create that expectation. And then I, I, know, I know I know out of people who subscribed, a lot of them have subscribed over particular videos that I don't necessarily intend on going back to. So yeah, you see that near 6,000 subscribers I've got right now. The vast majority of them aren't watching this channel. I know that, I'm very aware of that. Um, you, that's, you, I can't help that, you know, I pull out a video, it got popular, people subscribed, cool, and that they subscribed, but at the same time, if you're not watching my videos, then it's kind of like, mm, whatever, right? So I, I don't want to feel like I'm just chasing those people who subscribed because of that one video that I did or a couple of videos that I did. 
You know what I mean? I don't I don't want to feel like that's all I'm doing. It's chasing those views all the time. And I still want to be able to be like, you know what, I'll pull out a video and if it gets 20 views, cool, I'm happy with those 20 views. If it gets 10 views, I'm happy with those 10 views. You know, of course I want it to do hundreds of thousands and you know, all that stuff and have people coming back all the time. Of course I want that, but I'm not going to chase that by doing content that doesn't speak to me or I just don't feel like I want to do in that moment because then it's disingenuous. It lacks integrity, you know, and I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to put myself in that position because for me, I feel like integrity is more important than anything. If you're not being real, then what are you really doing? You know what I mean? If you're not being genuine with the content you put out, um, even if it's rubbish, I'd rather put out genuine crap than um, super polished great stuff that, that I probably may not say so oh, wait, I think you know what I mean uh, I'd rather put out something genuine even if it's wrong even if I said something wrong even if I if the content isn't say great and amazing and you know along if it's genuine I'd rather do that than put out something that's highly polished highly this highly that highly edited you know I, I ain't trying to live like that you know like I said I've got other channels where I do where the content is more consistent and that that satisfies that side of me but for this channel yeah, it's just me. <laughs> That's a long way of just saying it's just me.